I never thought I would be the one to say this on a public broadcast. Three days ago, I received a call at 2.47 in the morning. It was from a colleague at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, someone I've known for over two decades, a person who does not startle easily. His voice was shaking. He told me that 3i Atlas, the interstellar object that passed through our solar system, had done something that should be physically impossible. It sent a message, and then it sent another one. And NASA, after 72 hours of emergency analysis, has concluded that this changes everything we thought we knew about our cosmic isolation. Before we begin, I need you to do something for me. Comment your city name below and tell me, have you noticed anything unusual in the night sky recently? Anything at all? NASA is collecting reports from civilians across the globe and what we're seeing, it doesn't match any known pattern. Your observation might be the missing piece. My name is Michio Kaku and what I'm about to share may change the way you see humanity's place in the universe. Let me take you back to October 2024. That's when 3i Atlas was first detected by the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System in Hawaii. At first, we thought it was just another comet, perhaps a distant traveler from the Oort cloud making its long journey around the sun. But within days, something became clear. Its trajectory was wrong. The mathematics didn't fit. 3i Atlas wasn't following an elliptical orbit like objects born in our solar system. It was moving on a hyperbolic path, coming from somewhere beyond, from the space between the stars. It was the third interstellar object ever detected by humanity. The first was Oumuamua in 2017, that strange, cigar-shaped visitor that accelerated without explanation, defying our models of physics. The second was Borisov in 2019, a comet that at least behaved like we expected, but 3i Atlas. 3i Atlas was different from the beginning. Its velocity was extraordinary. It wasn't drifting. It was moving with purpose. And as it approached our sun, scientists around the world trained every instrument we had toward it. Optical telescopes, radio arrays, infrared sensors. We wanted to understand what it was, where it came from, and why its chemistry seemed intentionally obscure. Then, as it began its exit from our solar system in early 2025, something happened that no one predicted. It emitted a signal not a reflection, not an echo of our own transmissions bouncing back, a signal, a structured, repeating electromagnetic pulse in a frequency range we use for deep space communication, the kind of signal that doesn't occur naturally, the kind that requires intention. I was brought into a classified briefing two weeks ago. They showed me the waveform. I've spent my entire life studying the universe, black holes, string theory, the mathematics of dimensions beyond our perception. But nothing prepared me for what I saw on those screens. The signal was not random. It had syntax. It had rhythm. It had embedded mathematical constants pi, the golden ratio, the fine structure constant, these are not accidents, these are the universal languages of intelligence. And then, just as we were beginning to decode the first transmission, 3i Atlas sent a second message. This one was different, longer, more complex, and far more disturbing. NASA convened an emergency task force. I was asked to join along with linguists, cryptographers, AI specialists, and physicists from 14 countries. We were told that the information we were about to analyze was classified at the highest level, not because of national security, but because of existential security, the kind of discovery that if misunderstood or released prematurely could fracture the psychological foundation of civilization. We worked in shifts around the clock. The signal was layered. It contained what we now believe to be three distinct components, a mathematical proof, a star map, and what I can only describe as a warning. The mathematical proof was breathtaking. It solved equations we've been struggling with for decades. Problems in quantum gravity, the unification of forces, the nature of dark energy. Whoever sent this message understands the universe at a level we are only beginning to approach. But here's what haunts me. The proof was not complete. It was a demonstration, a sample, as if to say, we know what you're trying to figure out, and we've already figured it out. The star map was even more unsettling. It showed the positions of over 400 stars, many of which we recognize in our galactic neighborhood, but some were marked highlighted, and when we cross-referenced those stars with our own astronomical databases, we found something chilling. Every single marked star is a system where we've detected exoplanets in the habitable zone, worlds where life could exist, worlds like Earth, but one star was marked differently, ours. I want you to understand what that means. This object, 
3i Atlas didn't stumble into our solar system by chance. It came here, it surveyed us, it recorded data, and now it's leaving, carrying information about us to somewhere else, to someone else. And then there's the warning. We're still decoding it. The linguistics team believes it's not written in any human language, but it uses symbolic structures similar to how we convey causality and consequence. The closest translation we have is incomplete, but the essence is this. You have been observed. You are not ready. Do not follow. Do not follow. What does that mean? Follow where? Follow what? Is this a protective warning? A cosmic quarantine meant to keep us safe from something we're not equipped to handle? Or is it a threat? A boundary we've been told not to cross, enforced by a galactic civilization we don't yet comprehend? I've spent sleepless nights wrestling with this question. Because here's the paradox. If they don't want us to follow, why send the proof? Why show us the map? Why give us a glimpse of the knowledge we lack unless they want us to pursue it? Unless this is a test. Some of my colleagues believe 3i Atlas is a probe. An automated envoy sent by an ancient intelligence to scan emerging civilizations. A kind of cosmic census taker. Reporting back to its creators about which species have reached the threshold of space spacefaring awareness. If that's true, then we've just been cataloged. We're now on a list. A list of worlds that have noticed the visitors, but others believe something darker. They think 3i Atlas is a warning buoy, a marker placed at the edge of a territory we're not supposed to enter. That humanity, in its eagerness to explore and expand, is approaching a line we cannot see, a boundary enforced by forces far older and far more powerful than we can imagine. And then there's the third theory, the one that keeps me awake at night. What if 3i Atlas isn't from them at all? What if it's from us? Stay with me. One of the mathematical structures in the signal resembles a closed time-like curve, a concept in general relativity that allows for information to loop backward through time under extreme gravitational conditions. What if 3i Atlas is a message we sent to ourselves from the future, a warning from a version of humanity that has already made the mistake we're about to make? A civilization that ventured too far, learned too much, and discovered something that cannot be undiscovered? I know how that sounds, believe me. But in theoretical physics, time is not the straight line we experience. It's a dimension, just like space. And if a sufficiently advanced intelligence, even a future human intelligence, wanted to alter the past, they wouldn't do it directly. They'd send information, a nudge, a course correction disguised as a cosmic mystery. And perhaps that's the most terrifying possibility of all, because it means the warning isn't coming from aliens. It's coming from us, from what we become if we don't change course now. Since the second message was received, strange things have been happening. Observatories around the world have reported brief, unexplained electromagnetic anomalies, bursts of radiation that appear and vanish in seconds with no identifiable source. Amateur astronomers have captured images of faint, structured light patterns near the ecliptic plane, patterns that don't correspond to any known satellites or celestial phenomena. And just last week, three separate deep space tracking stations detected a synchronous pulse, a single simultaneous flash from three different points in the sky forming a perfect triangle when plotted on a celestial map. NASA has not made an official statement. They won't. Not yet. Because how do you tell 8 billion people that we've been visited, cataloged, and warned by an intelligence we can't identify, can't communicate with, and can't escape? But I'll tell you what I think. I think 3i Atlas is the first domino. I think we're living through a moment of cosmic significance that future historians, if there are future historians, will mark as the turning point. The moment humanity realized it was not alone. The moment we discovered that the universe is not a sandbox for us to play in, but a carefully organized structure with rules, hierarchies, and consequences. And the most haunting part? We've only decoded about 30% of the message. There's more, much more. Layers of data we haven't even begun to understand. Some researchers believe there are entire sections of the transmission that require quantum computing to decrypt. Technology were only just beginning beginning to develop. Which raises another question. Did they know that? Did they encode the message in a way that we could only unlock once we reached a certain level of technological maturity? Are they waiting for us to grow up before they reveal the full truth? I think about the Fermi paradox often. The question that has plagued scientists for generations. If the universe is so vast, 
so old, so full of stars and planets, then where is everyone? Why haven't we seen evidence of extraterrestrial intelligence? Maybe we have. Maybe the evidence isn't loud. Maybe it's subtle. Maybe advanced civilizations don't broadcast their presence. They whisper. They leave breadcrumbs. They test. And only those civilizations wise enough, curious enough, and humble enough to listen are invited to the next level of cosmic awareness. Or maybe the silence is the evidence. Maybe the reason we don't hear from a thousand voices across the galaxy is because most civilizations don't survive long enough to shout. Maybe they destroy themselves through war, through ecological collapse, through technologies they invent but can't control. And maybe 3 I Atlas is a lifeboat sent by those who made it through, trying to help those of us still struggling in the storm. I don't have the answers, I wish I did, but I know this. We are standing at a threshold. Humanity is being forced to confront questions we've avoided for too long. Questions about who we are, what we want to become, and whether we're ready to accept that we might not be the authors of our own destiny. Every night I go outside and I look up, I search the sky for something, anything, that might give me clarity. And I think about the civilizations that might be out there, watching us, waiting to see what we do next. I wonder if they feel hope when they look at us, or pity, or fear. Because the truth is, we are both miraculous and fragile. We've built wonders, art, music, science, compassion. But we've also built weapons, walls, and systems of cruelty. We are a species capable of breathtaking beauty and unspeakable unspeakable destruction. And maybe that's why the message says we're not ready. Maybe they see in us what we refuse to see in ourselves. But here's what I believe. I believe that humanity has the potential to rise. I believe that we can become the kind of civilization that deserves a seat at the cosmic table. But only if we choose it, only if we look at this message, this warning, this gift, this test, and decide that we will not be paralyzed by fear or hubris, that we will listen, that we will learn, that we will grow. 3. I Atlas is gone now. It has left our solar system, accelerating back into the void, carrying whatever data it collected about us into the unimaginable distances between stars. But its message remains, encoded in our servers, etched into our consciousness, a reminder that we are not alone, that we are being watched, that the universe is far stranger, far older, and far more purposeful than we ever imagined. And the question we must answer now is this. What will we do with that knowledge? Will we retreat into fear and tribalism, building walls and hoarding resources as we've done so many times before? Or will we finally unite, recognizing that our petty divisions are meaningless in the face of cosmic truth? Will we silence the signal and pretend we never heard it? Or will we listen, decode, and prepare for whatever comes next? I don't know what the future holds, but I know that it begins now, with you, with me, with the choices we make in the days and years to come. Follow this channel as we continue decoding the universe's final warnings. Because this story is far from over, and what we discover next may determine determine not just the future of humanity, but our place in a cosmos that is more alive, more aware, and more intentional than we ever dared to dream. So I'll leave you with this. If they're watching us, if they've marked our star on their map, if they've sent us this message across the infinite dark, what do you think they saw? What do you think they're waiting for? And more importantly, are we ready to answer?